Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I am journaling, so get something you enjoy and let's do it. So last time I used the word journaling opportunities, totally wrong word guys, I, I'm, it's just a new journal. I'm using my A6 Hobonichi, which I was originally going to use as like a planner, but I couldn't get away from my weeks. So I tried lists in it and I realized I really enjoy making lists. And so I made a separate list notebook, which is a little A6 Astrology, and I decorated that little bad boy. And then I decided to journal in this because I had been missing daily journaling and talking with you guys about what's going on in my life and during the day and, you know, all that blogna. I've really missed it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this A6 journaling like we've done so many times before. I uh, drew a coffee cup on Monday and colored it in with some markers. I use the Pigma Micron pens and... I have a lot of different colored pens, but these are distress markers, I think from Tim Holtz or the, the Ranger, I don't know. But um, I keep stickers in this binder and I was over at my parents having coffee and they brought up the dreaded conversation of booking their trip to Florida. They like to spend time at their condo in Florida in the spring and in the fall and they have not been in like two years because of COVID. Um, and of course, I miss them when they're gone. So I hate it, but I, you know, and like that they have to go and then, or get that they get to go. And um, I feed their cat while they're gone and he hates me. So that's fun. And um, he likes me to touch him so that he can then bite me. Uh, so yeah, he might murder me while they're gone. And I just will cry because I'll miss them. Tommy will bite me and... But that's okay, Mom. I know you're watching this. Have fun. Love you. <laughs> no, I, they really will have fun. Um, and then I was wearing, I put a little lotion bottle in there because I bought this Magnolia Charm lotion from Bath and Body Works. And I've gotten so many freaking compliments on this lotion. I have no idea what you guys, but it's like magical. So uh, it smells really good. And um, I mean, I didn't think it was that impressive, but... She loved it, and, like, I've had to tell, like, nine people at work where I got it, so. And then I put that little hanging upside-down possum because I managed to get Addie's, um, Henry's cold. It's just a cold. It's not, um, anything more serious. Um, we did get tested and everything, so. Uh, I just, I was tired. I was pooped, and, um. So I watched a lot of Midnight Mass on Netflix. So creepy, you guys. So of course I had to use some stickers for my Antiquarian sticker book, the perfect place for creepy stickers. And um, I was binge watching that show. And it is super Creepsville. And, uh, and, and good. And I don't know, maybe mildly offensive if you're super religious I'm not really sure it was very interesting to me an uh, interesting look at like religion and been a creepy show I, I don't know guys but I I enjoyed it so I don't know what that says about me uh and then Tuesday let's see um I watered my mums uh, I'm trying to keep plants alive again you know this never goes well I don't ever learn my lesson um, somebody sent me that sensitive plant <laughs> sticker and, uh, some collage and I put a little target cart because after coffee, which I put down, I had to go to target and I was just intending on buying glue sticks and white out, but you know how that happens. I saw these bad boys. They are like, I think they're supposed to be like skin tone, uh, Crayolas. They're the most freaking beautiful colors. Oh my goodness. I will, uh, link them below, but I bought them. And I put a little, uh, check mark box and this little Geico guy, because I was supposed to, it's a little gecko. He's, you know, uh, over a little, um, cauldron. And I had a meeting with, um, some of the other homeroom parents. I don't know. I got wrangled into being a homeroom parent for my son's classroom. I don't know. I'm in the PTO, although I never go to meetings and I don't volunteer for anything. But <clears throat> they didn't have one, so I was like, uh, I guess I'll do it. So I, we had to meet and plan a party, a fall party for the fifth graders um, that they could do with their class that was not costume 
or really supposed to be Halloween themed that they wouldn't think is lame. Uh, Much harder than you might think. (laughs) Because fifth graders think that everything you plan is lame. (laughs) So, uh, but you know, I think we did our best. And if nothing else, there's Oreos and suckers. And they're going to learn TikTok dance, which we thought was kind of cool. Like, we're being hip. So I put a little sticker on there. Um, (laughs) So, uh, uh, you know, trying trying to plan a party. And I wrote that I finished watching Midnight Mass and I went to bed early and took NyQuil. And then I love that little hung and ding sticker (laughs) because he just looks unimpressed, which is how I imagine the fifth graders will look when they have this party presented to them (laughs) unimpressed (laughs) um but anyway oh wednesday um i'll link the stickers and the markers and all all the stuff below in the description box so never you fear and if you have questions you can just ask me um Wednesday and Thursday, I put down some day of the week stickers and uh, this piece of washi tape that was stuck to the side of my desk. Um, I don't know, Addie comes in and uses my stuff and then sticks it places. So then I use it to, so that it doesn't go to waste. And I had this picture from a real simple magazine of a garage door repair truck, which could not have been more perfect because I have had a broken garage door twice this week. Um, Wednesday was a calamity, you guys. And it started out so well. I did my journaling, a whole bunch of pages, you know, that I flipped through at the beginning in this that I recorded and edited and voiceovered and went to upload and LOL, no, (laughs) that didn't work. (laughs) My phone shit its pants and I had to like do an iCloud backup so that hopefully I could erase the whole thing and then the the video would be there you know when I when I re uploaded my phone it didn't turn out that way it was not everything else was but not the video that I wanted so that didn't work (laughs) so I was pissed (laughs) and um Uh, Then the garage door broke for the second time in the week, and there was more language that was questionable at best. And uh, my son had the first uh, robotics uh, class that was on Wednesday afternoon, and he said, please don't forget me, because I had to pick him up later. And of course, I forgot, and I was five minutes late, and he was crying. So, really failed on that one. Um, but I got there. It was the garage door repairman was blocking me and it was a whole issue. So, and then I made spaghetti and my daughter, um, looked personally offended by the meal that I had cooked. Only a nine-year-old girl, I feel like, can make you feel like you have personally offended them with spaghetti. (laughs) But (laughs) I did. (laughs) Oh, and trust me, it, you know, it, it's an offensive meal, I guess. Uh, far be it from me to say that it was the meal that she really enjoyed a week prior, but this time it was, it was not okay. (laughs) And I went shopping for supplies for the class a party, which I was supposed to create a sign-up genius for so that people could contribute the supplies, and that sounds like I would rather scoop my eyeballs out with a spoon than do that. So I just bought them myself, and I'll get it figured out. Um, at this point in the day, uh, it felt like a whole lot of fails in a row, and so I thought, what would Jesus do? I feel as though he turned water into wine for a reason, so I decided to drink. <laughs> I had some hard ciders and I called it a day. (laughs) So, you know, you win some, you lose some. And then Thursday, I um, was very tired again um, and decided that I would try and get my daughter packed for Girl Scout camp this weekend. 
Um, you know, because I have to work tonight, Friday night, so I knew we couldn't do it tonight. So I had to get a head start on this. Thought I was really getting a, a jump on things. Um, of course, she looked at me like, how could you? How could you pack for me? How could you do this to me? It was not the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I did have to take her to dance that evening and then go to Target and buy a raincoat for her because I thought that I could get away with having her wear my raincoat on Saturday for, you know, the small amount of time she would need to wear a raincoat. <laughs> nay, nay. No. How could you even think that? <laughs> um, and then I took a nap. Uh, and that was it. It was, uh, it was a day, you know, it's been a week. But, you know, we all have them. So, uh, I feel like I'm getting ready to go to work right now. And, um, I feel like I could instead take a nap. But here we are. And I hope that you have enjoyed these few days of journaling and that you're having a good week. I'll see you soon. Bye.